What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Us Accord, the one never knows best. And today I'm playing some Dragon Ball Fighters matches, but it's not ranked, it's not a copycat challenge, and it's not Nitro Enzyme and DM like you normally see. Today I'm joined by the one, the only Cloud805. Say what's good to him, homie. You know what up, how y'all doing, man? You know what I'm saying? Once Thanks upon a time, in contention for the best adult Gohan player in the world, and today we are blessed to actually be fighting his adult Gohan alongside Base Vegeta Tien, which is certainly not his main team, but uh, we were just having a bit of a conversation before I started the video about, you know, just where we're at with the game right now. He says what's getting him by and what, what he's enjoying is just playing a lot of random teams and characters. But uh, Gohan been a staple for him for a while. Any any version of the game where he can make that character work, he's definitely tried. So uh, not surprised to see him here today. Isn't it crazy to think that this isn't even the best version of Gohan? <laughs> Take me back to old <sighs> vanilla Gohan. You think you think 1.0 Gohan's better? Oh, hell yeah. Back fist and not just that. EX legs is plus. He built three bars just for looking at you. Yeah, that's fair. I just put so much stock into level seven Gohan, but then again, it's like you could get, you know, mid screen hard knockdown for, for de damn near free without having to really try. Whereas level, level seven, you at least have to work for it. Oh, I didn't yeah. change to each. Oh, not the full <laughs> screen, dude. You already know it's, it's, the, it's the EX soccer kick, bro. This is characters a menace. He's only going to be more of a problem after the patch, I'm guessing. It's great. I love this. What? No. Bro, this character's fine, bro. It's gonna be all right. I'll be gonna pull out of the shadows and be like, buff it. Oh, my like, dome piece. That's all right, dude. I want to take it a little off the top. Or a lotto. I'm about to. Never oh. mind. We, we endure. I'm sparking. Yeah. Like that. Ron, you got you feeling yeah. kind of way. Yeah. Chill, 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 chill. Listen, dude. I, I just need. I just need to talk to you real quick. Oh. It's all right, dude. It's safe. That's so crazy. I thought for sure. No, it's safe. But I ever lie to you? Of course not. However, ah, nah, nah. oh, no, no, like this. You, you think I just go on to the Internet and lie? Never. You think people would do that? Just lie? <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, but yeah, as I as I recently told you guys here on YouTube, uh, your boy has officially registered and booked everything for Combo Breaker. Uh, Cloud, I just spoke to you, I think just a, a day or two ago, and you said you still weren't sure if you're going or not. The hard maybe yeah, for you not, at the moment. Not 100% sure. For sure, for sure. Say to my bank account, dude, uh, Reno is actually getting married, I, so. I, oh, shit, I didn't even yeah, know that. It's a destination wedding, and those shits are not cheap. Is it doing it in like another country? Yes. Gotcha. And I'm paying for my girlfriend too, so rip my wallet. Felt that uh, usually when I go on trips, I, I pay for my shorty as well. So I, I feel ah. like going to Combo Breaker may not be the smartest financial decision for me, but I have not traveled <laughs> since <laughs> the last time I like actually left the crib. Was it? It wasn't Evo, because I, I went to Vegas again after Evo, unfortunately. Um, but that might have been the last trip I went on. And, that's, and you know what? Now I think about it, it's probably why, because I. Uh, I I don't, know if, I, don't, I don't think you know the story, and I don't even know if I really oh. got into it on, on YouTube ever. But long story short, there was this uh this festival called the When We Were Young Festival. There's supposed to be all these dope bands there, whatever, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Super long story short, I'm one of the people who got fucked over and didn't get to actually see any of the bands because the day I was supposed to be there, it got uh, canceled due to inclement weather. Long story short, and um, yeah. No refund provided. Um, well, I ended up getting my money back for the tickets. However, that doesn't take into account the hundreds yeah. of dollars spent on my t my plane ticket, my girl's plane ticket, uh, oh, the the right. over a band I spent on the hotel, uh, oh. all the Ubers that we that that we ended up taking because what actually ended up happening is that a lot of the bands went all over the city, scattering about trying to put on free shows for people, and we ended up getting into none of those shows despite taking Ubers all over the city trying to get into one. And yeah, so oh, no so it's like I, I got oh wow okay. okay. Don't you know, you know Purple what? Legend was right in the best character of the game. Uh, yeah, you know what, man? Hey, Dan is really, really good, though. I think the character's a bit underplayed. But I, I think it's just because everyone... Wow, that was a punish? No oh, I, did that too late. I think everyone just finds oh. him super boring. He is but white bread, dude. Oh, Give me oh, that. Dude, hey. You are behind me. What? I, I definitely was past you. I don't know how that J2H connected, but we take those. We definitely take those. Um, me, oh, sucks, yeah, it man. was it was it was a nightmare of a trip. So I ended up getting my money back for the tickets, but it pales in comparison to all the other money I spent. So I was I was out a couple grand. It's yeah, I try not to think about it. <laughs> anyway, Brian in shambles, dude. Oh, and you can't even get this tax right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Gohan. 
just having a little fun in the sun, you know? He's, he's, he's happy to be here. Ah, I tried to be a little cheeky. I didn't know where to go. Oh, what? I'm not, not hit. That's fine. Take these. I tried. Right. I thought I could squeeze in a lariat before I landed. I was trying to get maneuver my way out of there. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, I appreciate the resub. Thank you. Thank you, Fruit Punch. Oh, yeah. Cloud is actually live right now over on his stream as we're recording this. I'm not. You know, sometimes I record these videos live. Sometimes I don't. I'm not live at the moment. Just follow me on Twitch.tv slash Wilson Core. Links always in the description down below. Anyway, and also the links to not only Cloud's Twitch channel, but also his YouTube will be in the description and probably as a pinned comment as well. You guys should definitely check him out. Yeah, Why do I keep dropping that, this? My hit is out of shape. Oh, Ooh. you whiffed. Yeah. I'm upset. Brain, yeah, it, it, totally intentional. As long as it works, it's always intentional. <laughs> yeah, of course, dude. If a, if a commentator had seen that, they'd be like, oh my god, he's so smart. Right? <laughs> yo, yo, the amount of times I've seen a commentator try to justify some random thing that happened, I was like, oh my god, how did he know? Like, Nick, he didn't know. He was got, he got lucky. This space is immaculate. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Jake Ryan. Oh my god, he's so smart. Dick already knows. Dick like, that nigga it. is lucky is what he is, bro. But you know, it's funny though, because like sometimes commentators doing that being cheeky, sometimes they genuinely don't know. But this is a common thing I see a lot, particularly in like Twitch chats and YouTube comments where they just can, they just don't believe that somebody can ever just be mashing or doing something random and get lucky. It's always got to be calculated or somebody had to have just been big brain or something like that. And then when you say that they just got lucky, oh, you just don't want to give anyone credit. Like, no, nigga, sometimes people just be doing shit and it happens to work. You think they dropped that combo on purpose? What? Never. Oh, they gave up all that confirm. damage. Uh, I've got bad news, and I've got good news. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. You don't have to tell me. I, there's seven bars over there. <laughs> there's, se there's seven <laughs> bars and a t there's seven bars and a TN back there. You don't have to tell me. Okay, just just making. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So, what did you end up? doing like how many days were you out there for i gotta imagine at least four three or four right nah it, so actually festival. well so the festival was for multiple days but we only had tickets for the yeah. first day because so here's the thing uh, right so that festival ended up being multiple days however it was in what september or october i bought our tickets back in january when they first first went live like i i, I was one of the first people we got in there got our tickets early and then they sold out right yeah. so what ended up happening is that there was so much demand for it, and then because sales were so good, they ended up adding on more days later on, but that wasn't the case originally. So my my trip, I only booked for, uh, basically I was supposed to leave the day after. So I was there for what, uh, two, three days, regardless, right? Yeah. Um, because I had no intention on being there longer because you know we were only gonna go for the first day because that's all there was, that's all there was available when, we, when I originally bought our tickets. Um, and uh, so yeah, I ended up, basically just wasting that whole day doing nothing uh except wasting money on ubers <laughs> and and where did the festival take place uh it was i, I forget it was in the festival grounds in vegas i forget what it's called oh okay well at least you're you know grasping that stuff here but at least you're in vegas if i could go out drink i guess i don't drink that's right yeah she does but it's like mm -hmm. she's not gonna go out and like she just drinks while i'm just sitting there you know what i'm saying so because that's what I'm saying. So basically, here, here's, here's the time. I'll, I'll break down the whole the full story then. So we get there on whichever day we get. I don't remember which day of the week, but we get there the first day before the actual event, right? And then, oh my God, you're 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 evil. Did I just die? I just died. Unless unless you give me the homie drop. So we get there the first day and it's just chill, whatever. Check into the hotel. You gotta say anything. Lit. You're the only one who blocked. Wow. There's just no way. Great, dude. It makes for great content. Now people will be like, oh my god, how did he block he's, he's that? He's That's going to be the title. How did he block that? I thought I'd get over it. So anyway, we get to the first day. I check into the hotel. It's whatever, whatever. There's like, you know, nothing supposed to do on the first day. We just check in, grab some food, whatever, and just chill. The next day, the day that we're supposed to be going to the, fe to the actual festival, and I get the... Ah. Ugh. Why are you like this? <laughs> we, we're, we're literally showering, you know, getting dressed, whatever, getting ready to go to the festival grounds to get ready for, you know, the event. And yeah. then they put out a Twitter, a Twitter post. And I get an email saying, long story short, that it had been canceled. And I'm like, there's no way. So naturally, people are pissed. Like we weren't already there, but there's already people like waiting outside the gates, waiting for them to open everything up. You know, everything's already set. Yeah. The stages are there, the speakers, everything. Um. 
And so at first it was like, well, well fuck now what? Cause I'm just like, there's just no way. It's like, are we going to get refunds? Like, are they going to reschedule? Like, what do we do? Mind you, I'm already booked to leave the next day. So even if there was a chance for me to get uh, tickets or for them to like, you know, exchange them or whatever to transfer it, whatever the case may be, I yeah. can't even go to another day because my flight's already booked. For God damn it, Lotus. My flight's already booked for me to leave the next morning. Um, and so what ends up happening is that, like I said, all these, uh, a bunch of the different bands, they start scattering all over the city, you know, finding whatever local little venues they can to try to put on some sort of show for whoever can get in. The thing is, though, is like you have all these bands and like they're just going to random bars and stuff like that or random venues that can host, you know, a couple hundred people. But there's thousands upon thousands of people who've flown in from literally all over the world, like different countries and all over, stuff, like different continents to come to this festival. So it's like you, you're not really going to be able to to to, to, to house everyone or like, you know, what I'm saying, let alone get multiple bands and tons of people in there. So. We end up, you know, just basically getting ready anyway um, and then just jumping into an Uber and then just going from like venue to venue, from place to place, just trying to get into the show for one of these bands that we really wanted to see and couldn't get in to see any of them. Mind you, it's like windy as fuck. Oh, which that's is, terrible. Yeah, which is why they canceled it, I guess, because the wind was so bad. It was actually so bad that uh, we were looking outside our hotel window and we saw that the uh, one of the tables uh, beside the pool had actually been blown into the pool. So that was funny. Um, but yeah, so it just ended up being a big waste of time and money. And uh, a lot, at the end of the day, after after like the fourth or fifth failed attempt to get into a show, we just went back to the hotel, ordered food. I watched the basketball game. I think the Bulls were playing and uh, cried a little bit. Yeah. And then went to sleep, woke up the next day and caught my flight home. So, oh. so did then, you like did you get a nice ass hotel too and everything did I, you want, like, I, the whole I, nine yards i did get a really nice hotel yes because here's another thing too is that like obviously like i i i love you know rock and and, and punk and stuff like that yeah. but eunice my girl she likes it way more and this is going to be her first time seeing a lot of her favorite bands and this is something that we had been really excited about and that she'd been looking forward to and like bring it up like all year long about how excited she was and i'm just like yeah so you know i'm, I'm trying to do the whole nine you know what i'm saying yeah, you know i guess nice hotel nice whatever you know what i'm saying get her we, we get some nice little outfits you know what i'm saying and yeah it is just yeah so who were you trying to see and ultimately you know just couldn't um like in, when we were taking ubers all everywhere or just like who was supposed like, to be at the festival who did you go for originally yeah the festival uh, so for her, her favorite band is Mayday Parade, and they were there. Um, yeah, yeah. Then there was like uh, Mayday Parade, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. Uh, Damn. Who else was there? I. It was a long, a long list. I think Blink One Eighty Two was there. Um. Any AFI dude? Evanescence. AFI. I, was AFI there? I can't remember. Like I, I could find the graphic and tell you. I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, but there, it was, it was a lot. It was, it was a lot of people. Um. It was, it was a lot of bands and. You know the people who got to go for the for the next days when it wasn't canceled they had a great time uh from what i hear um must be fucking nice well i mean shit, dude so they didn't plan to refund and have another event at a different time right it's just straight up like well sorry dude thanks, yeah thanks anyway yeah Bruh. Oh, that's so wack, dude. Because, like, I've gone to plenty of shows and festivals, but that's never happened to me, right? Uh, just SOL. Yeah, well, after that, I just I ended up not traveling for the rest of the year because I was just so, so distraught. Yeah. And also, it was such a huge waste of money because I, I think, um, yeah, I want to say that happened in October and then UFA was in November, right? I remember Damascus reached out to me because he wanted, they were actually going to, you know, fly me out, pay for my trip and everything. For yeah. me to go to Paris to go to UFA, um, which was a great opportunity, and, and I, I hope that they still want to continue to work with me because I've enjoyed the stuff I've yeah. done with Reversal and everything. But I was just so. Hold on. Ooh. I hate to see it. Uh, I was just, I was just so mad about. It. I was like, I'm, I'm done traveling for the rest of the year, bro. And I guess I just haven't been anywhere since then. Now I'm thinking about it. So yeah, it was, oh. it was an absolute nightmare. So, but now you got combo breaker look you're looking forward to and anything else after that uh maybe oh. Evo. i don't even know what side that was oh. yeah just combo breaker and then maybe evo and then for the rest of the year i don't know if i'll be doing anything else i'm trying to think what is left there's ceo but yeah don't go to ceo i, I probably not yeah, daytona not to, not very good for color folks 
There's also uh, a TwitchCon this year, but it's also in Vegas. I, I just really want to go to Vegas as little as possible. Uh, that well, place, I, 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 didn't, I, I was going to say, like, I didn't like it there in the first place when I went for Evo, but now it's like it's forever tainted because of that fucking festival, bro. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I can't blame you, man. Definitely with a bad taste in your mouth. Spent all that money, dude. You're so hyped, and then did no nothing happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, kill me now. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> there'll, there'll be more shows in the future, dude. Well, it's another thing, too, is that, like, this is not the first. This is the worst it's ever been, but this is not the first time we planned on going to a show, and then it didn't work out. Word? Was yeah. The last? Uh, there was one time we were supposed to go see uh, All Time Low. And then okay. we didn't. And there was another time. Who was we supposed to go see? Ah, I think there was another time she was supposed to see Mayday Parade. I don't think it was with me. It might have been with her friend. I forget what happened though. But yeah, it's just the very few occasions where we've gone, and we're supposed to go see bands. It has not worked out for us. Dude, somebody cursed y'all. Not individually. How the fuck did together. I? It's on. Uh, yeah, you, I didn't wasn't ready for the drop either. You would have loved to go on a work tour with Lotus. That's what Jake Ryan said. I've never been, but it, I'm sure it would have been a great time. I'm so sad I didn't go to like the earlier work tour where it was more like punk rock instead of whatever it, it became in the end. Right. I, yeah, I typically have not been a big concert girl. I've, I, I can count the amount of concerts I've been to in my life on one hand, for sure. Word? Yeah. yeah I that, bro. Well, I mean... Depends if the banjo like is still around. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where uh, your bands lie, dude. I don't know if you still listen to if your bands are still touring or not. I've seen, I think, pretty much all of my favorite bands. And lucky too, um, man, because some of them have died. Yeah, I honestly, so like, I, I listen to a lot of that music, but I don't like keep up with it nearly in the same way that I do with like hip hop and raps. So, like some of my favorite bands are like Sunny Day Real Estate. Uh, I really like Tidal Fight. Um, I listen to a decent amount of AFI because my homie Thunder, that's his favorite band. Uh, yeah. I've grown to really love Made It Parade because, like I said, that's my girl's favorite band, so she plays it a lot. Uh, and then, you know, My Chemical Romance all the time, though. Like, I, there's a lot of bands that I like. Uh, that's supposed to be a safe jump. <laughs> for me. Oh, no. Oh! You know, speaking of, like, rap and hip-hop, so the other day, I was at my uh, girlfriend's family's, like, little party thing, right? And, mm -hmm. uh, her sister's older by like 10 years, right? So, you know, grew up with rap and shit in the 90s, hip hop, right? And uh, I was like, oh, yeah, so like, who do you guys listen to? I was like, you know, do you guys fuck with, oh my god, my chop. Like, I was like, you fuck with this person and this person and this person, right? And they're like, that was after our time. And like, one of the ones I named was MF Doom. And I was like, well, what, what do you mean? MF Doom was definitely in your time when you were in high school, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, what about like diggable planets, you know? Living legends? And they're like, who? I was like, we listened to more like EZ and, you know, Tupac and Biggie. I'm like, yeah, that's a given, but how do you not know who MF Doom is? Right. How do you not know diggable planets? I was flabbergasted. I was like, you guys, that like, was like the perfect time to grow up and listen to those uh, artists. Yeah, where do you get the MF Doom emote from, Trave? Somebody got an MF Doom emote in chat. They came prepared. But yeah, dude, rap hip hop's tight. I'm trash. Still like a immortal technique. Again, even the shit, even the atmosphere, ah! dude. Give me, the, give, give me dad rap, dude. <laughs> dad, I was gonna say, low key, it sounded like you were just fucking my dad's place. My boy trying to listen to Tyler Kweli and uh, De La Soul and, you know what I'm saying? Which granted, I like all that music too, but. Okay, Mo's Def and yeah. Rock him. And you know, like me some easy, dude, some Mac Dre. DJ Quick. DJ Quick ought to be one of the silkiest men. Oh! <laughs> Mofo's out there. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, was, it was. it was Oh? <laughs> Just for good measure? Just for good measure. Make sure he didn't get back up. But uh, yeah, my, my, my luck with going to events to, to, to see musicians has, has not been the best. Fortunately, I've had great luck when it comes to going to a tournament, so. Maybe that's my, my true calling. I don't know, man. But uh, take, take what you get. yeah, but I think that'll do it for today's video. Thank you for joining me, man. I really appreciate it. You have any closing remarks you want to give to the people before we get out of here? Uh, as always, take care of yourselves. Uh, scratch your back, buy a day. Um, sub to Lotus. 
sub to his Twitch, YouTube, follow him on Twitter. Do you have, you have Twitter? Of course you have Twitter. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, no, of course you have a Twitter. I'm dumb. Also, uh, YouTube, y'all see Twitter. the name. Y'all see the name. Lakers and Six. Lakers and Six. Uh, it's Lotus has a TikTok that too. Um, you could catch me wherever the hell Lotus is going to put a description or whatever. Blah, blah. I stream, YouTube, all that. Um, yeah, make sure you call your friends and tell them you love them. Up to the OnlyFans, don't forget that part. <laughs> <laughs> Hit this video with the like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, so you can stay tuned for all this content that I bring you. With all that being said, it's pretty much off today. Remember, nothing can happen to you from the bad. Later. <laughs>